Hi guys, it's Carissa and I am doing my January 2015 favorites today. I am going to do this one first because I want to put some on. This is a Jergens moisturizer. I'll read it in a second. This is the Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer. I received this recently and have been using it almost every single day at my desk. I do get a lot of dryness on this part of my hand, like sort of the meaty part of my thumb, my thumbstick, drumstick, thumbstick. I like that it has very little fragrance to it, but just enough to be pleasant, and it's not super greasy. It pretty much vanishes right away, and I can go about my business, because I hate when I put hand cream on, and I feel like I have to immediately wash my hands afterwards. This is almost gone. This is the Eva NYC Clean It Up Shampoo, and this I received in a birch box. This has this beautiful vanilla fragrance to it, but that also sort of smells a lot like a shampoo that I used at the grooming salon I worked at. I don't know, it just brings back happy memories though for me of spending time with dogs. What I think I like most about this is that it doesn't lather and my hair still feels really clean after using it. This might be my favorite for the entire month. I am so much happier with this than I even thought I would be. This is the Shiseido Wrinkle Resist 24 Day Emulsion. You can kind of see how much I've used. Maybe you can't see it. It's to about there. This is something that I have had since the end of December. I purchased a kit of sample, like deluxe sample sizes of this line. I just like the consistency of it. I like how it goes on. I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes my face look and feel. I just find myself wanting to reach for that more often than anything else and I normally really like to rotate things and switch things up. If you follow me on Instagram you already saw that I love this and I talked about it recently. This is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Polish in the color Birthday Suit. It's number 110 and I'm wearing it right now. I've been wearing it all month. I mean, every time I paint my nails since I bought this, it's with this. I feel like as soon as I take it off, I can't wait to put it back on and do a fresh coat. I mean, my nails are looking a little bit, it's mostly my cuticles that don't look so great and I need to reshape and all that stuff, but this is a few days wear. Not quite a week yet. Um, I think that with other nail polishes, just standard nail polishes, no matter what brand they are, you still would have chips by now, so... And I have a few little dings here and there, but I'm hard on my nails. You guys know that. I just love this color. It is so pretty. It reminds me of OPI's Bubble Bath, but it's way less streaky. Don't get me wrong, I think you do have to do three thin coats of this to make it opaque. Um, you just would have to be really good at applying nail polish to do it in less. And I feel like I am. So you'd have to be really, really good. <laughs> I am so sad about this product. I feel like I didn't even want to talk about it, but I wear this almost every single day. Almost every time I do my makeup, I put this on. And I have a feeling it's no longer available. <laughs> I only bought one because I wanted to know what the quality was like. So back when Urban Decay had the 24-7 Glide-On pencils and they had the stash collection with like the little mini versions, I received I realized how much I liked this one, which is called Juju. This is my second one of these, and, you know, it's not, it's not way, way smaller than it was when I first got it, but I realized I was going through it really quickly. So I've been looking for a drugstore replacement, or even, it doesn't have to be a drugstore replacement, but I feel like high-end versions of makeup or just... I don't know, I feel like nobody makes these at all. You're more likely to find them in a drugstore product. So I'm always checking. NYX has failed me um, on a color similar to that, you know, like a metallic brown. So I see these one day in my grocery store and they're by L'Oreal and I almost always love a product by L'Oreal when I try it. I feel like that's one of my favorites. Like I feel like I trust that brand. Um, and I feel like others, there's some brands like, okay, CoverGirl, I feel like they have to prove me wrong, you know, like I'm going to get something, but I'm like, you're not going to like this. And that product has to prove me wrong. But with L'Oreal, it's like, it's only a matter of picking what color I want of something. It's like, you're going to, you know, you're going to like it. So I went for this one, which is called Impressive Brown. It's color 702. And 
it's perfect. It's pretty much the same consistency. It's even a little bit creamier and you can sort of blend it with a brush if you wanted to. So I think you can even work with it better than the Urban Decay one I have, but that one could also be drying out because it's so old. Well, I've been wanting to purchase more of these and I have been to so many drugstores and I've looked everywhere that L'Oreal is sold recently and I can't find a single one of these left. So I'm pretty sure they're gone forever. But I wear it almost every day, and I have this month, so it's one of my favorites, but I'm not happy about it. This I've really been liking, despite one flaw I have found in the packaging. This is the new Benefit Puff Off. It is an under-eye soothing gel. It's supposed to just de-puff and kind of reinvigorate the skin underneath your eyes. The packaging is so adorable. The colors, everything's great. Except... The applicator. The applicator is shaped like a little iron, which is so cute. I mean, right? It's really, really cute. But it's a little too pointed. Even though it's slightly rounded at the top, it's still a little too pointed. And I find that the best way for me to put this product on is to, you can put it on over your makeup too. So I like to squirt a little bit of it out like that and put it on kind of you know, split it up between my eyes and then take the applicator and sort of get in there and smooth that area out really gently. Because of the way that it's curved, it just, it can kind of get a little stabby if I don't have a ton of, and maybe that's what I'm doing wrong is I'm being a little bit too stingy and I'm not using enough product, but then I feel like I have to wipe this down because I put my fingers on it and um, I don't know, it's not the best system. I do love how cooling the metal is on the applicator, um, but it's not as good. It's almost like I wish I could combine that gel with this. This is not a Super Bowl trophy. This is the Mally Eye Gel applicator, and it's all covered in lotion now. But this one is perfect because it's just, it fills that whole void where it dips into your face and it stays nice and cold. You can flip it over and really rotate it and just set it on your eyes. I've been known to just lay in bed and put it right here and just rest it there for a minute. I find that the Benefit one, the metal on the applicator warms up a little bit, so by the time I get to the second eye, it doesn't feel as cooling anymore. I don't know, I just wish I could somehow make this be the applicator for that. Because this, you have to dip into the jar of product and I don't really like any products that you have to dip your fingers into. It just bugs me and grosses me out and gets in my nails and just doesn't seem very hygienic to me. So there could be some improvements made here, but otherwise I am really enjoying this. This is the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. People, I promised myself I wouldn't do this. But Lush, are you listening to me? <laughs> Can somebody send this to Lush? Can somebody tell Lush that I'm talking to them? Please tell your sales staff to do, to, to please change your entire business model when it comes to sales. All I want to do is walk around and gently experience the products on my own. If I have questions about them, I want to be able to ask someone who's knowledgeable and friendly, but I don't want anything more than that going on. I went in there for a lip scrub. I wasn't sure what fragrance I wanted, so I wanted to smell them in person, and I was just bombarded. I felt exhausted by the end of the conversation. The worst part is, is some of the benefits of certain ingredients I already know a lot about, but it's easier to just let them tell you about it, and I just, I, f I feel bullied, basically. I don't know. I don't mean to make light of that word. That's not right. I just didn't like it. I wanted to get the hell out of there. And I, w I, would, I, w I would have been there forever. I would have bought so much more stuff. They were, my poor husband was with me, and another sales girl ran over to him and was, like, badgering him to try stuff and buy things for himself. It was just a really uncomfortable thing. And I have had people who work at Lush before tell me, this is just what we do. We're just trying to be helpful. But I am telling you that that's just not how some people want to shop. So... Anyway, I decided on the popcorn one. I like it. Hi. Yes. It's us. We're here. Hello. <laughs> She's so excited you're home. Oh, She's so excited. Hi. Hi. Can I join your video real quick? My makeup's not quite as nice as this is, though. What are we reviewing today? I was just complaining about Lush. Oh, it was weird. They were there trying to sell me stuff. So we go in there. 
Oh, and there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, I mean, I'm interested in none of it. I'm not gonna lie to you. And she's in there talking about this, talking about that. And I work in sales. That's what I do. Okay. Um, uh, and they were incredibly aggressive for some reason. It's just uncomfortable because yeah. it doesn't feel like they're actually trying to enhance your shopping experience. It well, just feels like they're trying to they add things probably, on. They probably lose sales because of how aggressive they are. And it was just, it was over. They were trying to sell me stuff. And, and listen, I, I respect that people are into different things and all, but I don't know anything about that stuff. If she tells well, me Well, they were trying on, to tell you about that stuff. Yeah, but... No, I, I, I get what you're saying. I was there for a very specific reason, but I had given myself a budget for that day to spend up to $100 in that store, and I only spent 27 And that's because I picked up two lip balms with the scrub, and I didn't even really get to pick the scents because the girl, it was just such an uncomfortable experience. And maybe I'm just being harsh, but I was kind of expecting that because of my last experience in the store. I mean, they were nice. Don't get us wrong. Right. Don't get me wrong. They were very nice. They were nice and they were just doing their job. And I completely understand that. I've been there. I've been those girls. I know what they're going through and what they have to do. But I don't like, as a company, that that's how they run things. I just don't enjoy shopping that way. So I am really frustrated by that and I'm upset that that was the case. And it looks like I'll have to be buying things from them online from now on. <laughs> Sorry about that rant, but I was really upset. Okay, last thing, this is probably going to seem kind of silly, but I had been a little bit curious about these, and then when I received them as a gift, it was kind of exciting that I was going to have a chance to try them. Okay, so it's these Scrub Daddy sponges. My mom bought a three-pack of these for both me and my sister for Christmas. I guess these were on Shark Tank. They're these scouring sponges that look like a face. Okay, how cute is that? And they're really firm, okay? See, they're they're not like a typical sponge. And if you use cold water, it stays this way. It softens up slightly, but it's really firm for scouring and for scrubbing. And you can continue to use it, you know, kind of in this firm shape. But if you run it under warm water, it really softens and squishes like a sponge. And, I mean, it is a sponge. And it has all these like textured grooves on the top, which kind of look like it's the hair. And it has these really convenient holes in the front so you can hold it. Yeah, so here it shows that you can, you know, put it into something that's shaped with the same size circumference. And you can use the little eye holes to pull it through. Oh, and you can use the mouth to clean uh, utensils. Look, I realize that this is a really weird thing to be excited about, but you can also use it to exfoliate your skin, apparently. So I think I'm going to try that. I'm, <laughs> I, don't, I, I like these. I like this a lot. So that is it for my January favorites. If anything I mentioned here is a favorite of yours, I'd love to hear more about it. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.